Uh, my name is Ami McNeil. Um, I grew up on a farm. I worked uh, in, uh, on a boat uh, down in the Dominican studying whales and marine science. And that relationship to the environment, to other species on the planet, matters an awful lot to me. It always has. I love the relationship between surface and pattern and form to build a kind of complementary relationship between that ultimate form and that surface matters to me. And I also think there's this beautiful relationship between what's inside and outside. Seeing a, these patterns from the inside and illuminated is just something we don't get to see ever, you know? I mean, maybe doctors get to see it, but it's not as beautiful as glass and light, you know, the inside. Of so I think that really appeals to me, that relationship between what we build and then reminding ourselves of kind of the sacrifice maybe of what the cost is of that. And it has an awful lot to do with revealing that internal part that might be more fleshy, more human, more um, vulnerable. I have a hard time seeing in here, but you maybe have an angle where you can. Coming here has been a real treat, and it's right on the tails of kind of a lot of, of, of thinking about the, this work. We're making uh, buoy shapes, uh, which are kind of markers out in the ocean um, that indicate an orientation or where we are, a way of locating ourselves, uh, kind of in a long or vast expanse. It's all fine. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go for it. The buoy shape itself is very designed. Uh, it's, very, it's got a very architectural top on it and a very kind of simple, buoyant shape on the bottom. So I really like that division between the buoyancy and the simplicity and the architecture on the top. But we started with working with a funnel shape on the bottom and attaching it to the side. And then we're working with a little bit of color over here so that we have a captured kind of um, moment of transition in an atmosphere. So it's a little bit like a tornado with fog or with um, kind of a stormy uh, basin in it. It's going. So we've got, a, we've got a funnel, a tornado attached to the inside wall of, you know, a cloudy bubble. Pretty cool. The glass parts will be incorporated into aluminum tubing, maybe inner tubes and uh, maybe some steel structures that kind of give those other qualities to it or references to it in terms of how we might locate ourselves in the situation culturally that we put ourselves into. There are tower structures and stuff on top of uh, these buoys. Most of them are float forms, really simple float forms with architectural structures on them made out of steel. So I'm pretty excited about these bubbles being incorporated into a steel structure that is reminiscent of that. You got it, Gabe. Now little hips. Can you give us a little hips, Gabe? Come on. Dude. I've learned that the teams, at least in this area, they all know each other. So it's really great to kind of be moving through this kind of collaborative sense of how people work and help each other uh, kind of aspire to something that they could do no other way. And I think it's really important for people like myself who come from a different background, a different discipline, to have the support of the institutions. That looks good. Looks good. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think achieving um, kind of the ideas, visualizing and kind of realizing ideas that you could never do without other people has been really humbling for me. Um, and uh, and uh, hopefully some good work will come out of it too.